I look tired and beat down, it's because turkey season and breeding season align, which means I get zero sleep or peace. So this is what you're getting. I could have put on makeup for y'all, but this is about real life. So I'm really tired, but we gotta go pick up some semen from the airport. So let's go. All right, so we're 15 minutes out from the airport and the whole reason we're going to the airport versus like, I mean, we've done some counter to counter. That's what it's called when you get it from the airport this year. But I think we've only filmed when it gets FedExed, which is overnight. And so that's real convenient because it just comes straight to your door. But if your mare is ovulating faster than the semen can be shipped, then you have to do counter to counter where they put it on an airplane and send it to you that day. So I was in contact with the stallion manager this morning. He got collected at like 10 a.m. and then it was sent on to me. So it's uh, 5.30 in the afternoon right now. And so I think it landed at like 4.50 and I try to give it 30 minutes at least before I go but because they're usually late getting it off of the plane and I don't like sitting there. So we're about to go pick it up. I'm gonna text my vet that we've got it. And he already told me that, I mean, right now is like in the thick of it of breeding season. So I just kind of have to take him when I get him, like as far as when he can come out and breed. And this afternoon when he does come to breed, we're going to um, flush Earlene because her culture came back dirty. So after we bred her the last time and she didn't ovulate, even though we flushed her with like a cleanse, uh, it seemed that she did get, you know, some sort of like small infection and stuff like that. So we have to three days in a row flush her with like an antibiotic solution. And then we're also going to preg check Cool. So it may be tricky because Cool has a couple of cysts that look like pregnancies. So we may have to check her today and then recheck her in a week or so when the baby would be bigger than her cysts. Um, but yeah, all that's happening this afternoon, but I have no clue what time that will be happening. So let's just go get the semen and go from there. Hi, Hi. Um, it's a package on 2244. What's the number? Um, let me look. Uh, 7911 7533 Yes sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was, was there a bunch today? I just two. They just came out the same flight, so it must have all been from Texas. Yeah, they were. Yeah. I wonder who it was. Maybe all right. Go. Thank you so much. Y'all you. have a good one. You too. You all take care. Package secured. Uh, that was so funny. He was like, now we have all the horse semen. <laughs> Which makes sense because they all get shipped on the same day because they all get collected on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So, and Texas is a hot spot. Like, there's a ton of stallion stations there, so it makes sense. I was like, I wonder who it is. I might know them. So, we bred Trudy once this year. And then the second time we had a screw up. So technically this is like the third try. I mean, this is much, much later than I anticipated us breeding her. Um, so let's cross our fingers that this works and that I can get this freaking box out. So all of them usually come with like a piece of paper that say when they were collected, um, their motility, how many cells you get. So he, I got 1.5 billion and um, yeah, that's about it. So we got one dose. So we bred this stud a few times this year because we also bred him to Earlene that time that she didn't ovulate. So not his fault, just my dang mares being mares and not cooperating.
if you're not coming tomorrow, do you, we need to check Beyonce and Gracie tonight? Um, yeah, we can do that. If, if they're both out of heat, how quickly can we bring them in and start the process? I mean, we can have them in heat next week, middle of next week. That'd be nice. We just got to figure out what size their follicles are. And we don't want one to come in. They're both. The other. They're both in previous years, like clockwork, half a centimeter a day, like very standard, right? Easy breeders. How many doses do we get <coughs> for this mm -hmm. one? Did we get a full one? Or we did. A half. Of we one got a full. Okay. So we got to flush her lean tonight too. Yeah. So, can Amanda flush her tomorrow, or do I need to bring her to the clinic? Because um, I have a funeral and a few things I, I, I tomorrow. I have to see what her... She doesn't know she's coming. So, oh. I have to see what <laughs> what her timeline's like. Which, if it's just checking and doing a flush, I may have to have Kyle or somebody else meet her, because we, we have a few things going on tomorrow that were unexpected. All right. So, we have two follicles that are identical. Great. There's Perfect. One. There's two. What is what is with my mares and having two follicles at a time? It's all of them are freaking doing that. And so we're doing deep horn on her, right? Why not? It's my whole thing. I'm like, we're kind of getting to the end here. I like that they put like a tender pick of him on here. Like, this is who you're getting, ladies. We just need one. I do think you should do the pouring though. Okay. Because I, you, I take it back. You've probably gotten less sleep than I have. No, I've gotten pretty. I've you've got, pro gotten pretty good sleep. Yeah, I got plenty of sleep last night. I have not for like four months. Did you hunt this morning? No, they went again and got another one. Here or somewhere else? Uh, five minutes away from here. I was gonna say Jonathan is gonna be tagged out by this weekend, so Nate, you need to go get you one over here. Since they lowered the limit to two, he's like, who am I, I gotta, I can't not hunt anymore. I gotta start taking people and <laughs> like. <laughs> he's gotta turn into a guide. Yeah, that's exactly what he's gonna do. Cause he can't stand not hunting. Just casually holding semen. I don't know. It's easier for people doing the breeding for it to be in a syringe. Mm -hmm. Just another step. For error to happen yeah especially when people are, are watching me <laughs> and filming you yeah. <laughs> need every little bit i know the one you leave behind could be the, the winner all right Kay. yep hold that for me so i'm gonna give her a little busket pan mm-hmm so I can manipulate that tube down her horn. Mm -hmm. Do you always give him busket pan? I just never notice. <laughs> yeah. Well, baby. I know a bunch of women were commenting when I said that. They're like, I take busket pan. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Man, I know some other drugs we use, women use. I didn't know they use busket pan. I guess so. A ton of people were commenting. It's an amazing drug. It mm -hmm. works super fast and it's very effective. For relaxing the uterus or? All this, the, um, uh, like the intestines uh -huh. and the uterine wall, they can't squeeze on your arm. Uh -huh. It makes doing this way more effective. So I'm just putting this in her uterus mm -hmm. and it's going up and it's hitting the bifurcation. So hold that in, don't let it come out. And then I'll go in rectally and manipulate it down the left horn. So right now it's just in the body. Mm -hmm. See, I can feel it through the mm -hmm. through the uterine wall. Okay, got it. Got it. Yeah. Okay, so it went down the left horn, so. And then I can squeeze the horn so it doesn't come back. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and put the semen in. There we go. 
All right, go ahead and inject. Oh, I'm doing all the work here. Once you get it in. Pull back? You, no, don't pull back because you'll pull the seam back. Disconnect and pull up 10 cc's of air. And then just inject the air slow. There you go. Now I can feel all that semen down in the tip of the left horn. I mean, I just bred her for him. I don't even know why I heard him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Appreciate it. Just kidding. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, let's pray this one freaking sticks. Um, She's got <laughs> double chances for at least one. When do I need to give her a shot? Hopefully you gave her a shot yesterday. Well, yeah, but don't I give her oxytocin tomorrow or something? No, let's just see what she looks like. She may not need it. Okay, okay. Let's do early next so that she can be waking up while we do okay. the other ones. And I've got all my stuff here I can scrub her up with. I don't even need to check her. I just need to flush her. Yeah, yeah. Can you help me play defense on this baby? She's a little bit of a spicy one. Unfortunately, she's so good, I probably will want to breed back to her daddy, who does not, he's old, so it's not going to be probably the easiest breed. Who's her daddy? Allocate your assets. He's like 23. Did you see how good my defensive technique was? Yeah, it was good. <clears throat> oh, and now she's mounting her mom. I'm getting out. I'm in the danger zone. Okay, let's go get Erlene. Why are you so sweaty, girl? She's like hot and sweaty. What were you doing? Were you running? There's no question that she's got a uterine infection. Okay. Why is she so sweaty? I don't know. I just pulled her up and I don't know why. She's, she's been inside. She's sweaty or she get in a uh, water bucket? She's, 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 she's hot. I... Well, kind of, not really hot. She would have come in from outside like three hours ago. Huh. So the uterine infection is most likely from the last time we bred her. She just did not ovulate. So that semen just like sat in her <clears throat> and fluid retention in the uterus can cause all kinds of issues. So we did a cleanse. Like we already, we flushed her already with just like a cleansing solution, but that didn't help, apparently. So would it be worth next year, since we've had some issues with like fluid retention and like, should we just start flushing everyone for safety? Like what, is it like super expensive per flush? Um, no, no. I mean, I feel like at this point, if it saves us a cycle, like just go ahead and do it. I mean, a lot of people will flush with anti-inflammatories regardless. Right. Um, and I do that a lot mm -hmm. at the reproduction center. Mm -hmm. In the field, it's harder because mm -hmm. it takes longer and right. I don't have all my stuff. So gotcha. aggr the aggressive treatments. It's easier for you. Uh, to, I, everything's right treatment. there and I've got the staff where I can just go, right. go, go. Right. Here, it's you know more laborious. Right. So if it doesn't look like it doesn't need to be done, I don't do right, it. Right, right. At the, at the reproduction center. For mares like Trudy, and cool who have like had issues and we like know they have issues maybe we just like i should always do it with them yeah we can do that but my my issue is sometimes you're checking five mares for me in a day and i don't have a five horse trailer <laughs> all right so that has antibiotic in it and we're just gonna run it in run it out and then she needs the antibiotic tomorrow <clears throat> and friday as well I, I know what I talk about with my dad. <laughs> so, gotcha. I don't do as my research you like I do with the, the horses. Oh yeah, it's in there. gunky. And that should kill that bacteria. We'll just repeat it for a couple of days. Right. And that way when she does come in the heat, she'll be clean. Right. Which, do you think we caught it early enough that we could still do this cycle? I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to see how she, how fast she progresses over the next couple of days. Cause she was kind of slow last time. Yeah. So. Cause when we flushed her, or when we checked her for ovulation 
and then flushed her the next time, she still had a follicle, like, days later, you know? Yeah. So. So if she comes into the clinic tomorrow morning, I'll be the one treating her, and I'll check her and okay. see what she's got. Okay. If you have a man, Dr. Amanda do it here, you can get her to check her and see what she's got. Okay. I'm also being cheap, and I'm like, I don't want to pay board for two days at the vet. Girlfriend, you look pitiful over there. If all of these heifers will cooperate and get pregnant within the next <clears throat> 10 days, my breeding season will still be in a very normal range for us. I'm gonna leave you some oxytocin for her tomorrow too. Okay. You know what I would love? If my husband would win the tournament he's in this weekend because the payout for first place is 15 grand and then he could pay for all my breeding. Who, awesome. who is uh, the tournament with? Um. It's not like some guys out of Bethesda, is it? I, I don't remember, honestly. I, he throws so much information at me, I don't know everything he How says. much is the entry? Like 100 bucks. And there's 15. There's 100 teams. Oh. Yeah. And they have a ton of sponsors. Like, tons of people are filming this thing for, like, their YouTube and their TV shows. And, like, it's a big deal. All right. Clear in the rear. All right. What's the other thing? Shiny and the hiney. Shiny and the hiney. What's the shiny and the hiney mean? After you scrub them up, they're ready to oh, breathe. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I almost or just flush. got my toe smashed. So, Cool has a couple of cysts on her ovaries that we've known about and seen, and, you know, they're no big deal. Um, but they, on the ultrasound, they look like an 18 day pregnancy. So that kind of does make it harder to see what's her actual baby and what's the cyst. So she's 14 days post ovulation today. So that's like the earliest pretty much you can see it. So we may look today and then say, hey, let's check her again on Monday just to be sure, get her a little farther out. I'm just glad it's the left leg and not the right. Right. Well, I know Dr. Matt puts all his stuff on the other side. Mm -hmm. And so he was checking her, or he, yeah, he checked her for ovulation. And I was like, you're going to want to drug her. You were nice. I was nice. I was like, you're going to want to drug her. If that had been me, you'd have been like, oh, just stand a little closer. <laughs> no. just, get, just get in there real close. No. <laughs> if anything, I would do that to Dr. Matt over you. But no, he's old. He can't get kicked. <laughs> he is old. I want that to be. Matt, keep that in the film. Or if you're editing it, keep that in the film, and I'm going to tag Dr. Matt Polovich, who's old now. <laughs> I only say that because he left. It looks like there's a 14-day pregnancy. Okay, let me see. Okay. I mean, that's definitely a 14-day pregnancy. So that right there is a 14-day pregnancy. And every time we've seen her cysts, they've looked 15 days or older. We ought to see. Let's see. There's, a, there's one that looks there's 18. Cyst. That's the cyst? Mm-hmm. And that's the pregnancy. That's so the we're pregnancy. pregnant. And that's the cyst. See the difference? Yeah. Well, heck yeah, we're pregnant. You're pregnant. I don't know that she's had a baby with this stud, but her full sister has had world champion babies she with this stud. Regimate? Yes. She's on Yes. She's been on regimate. You're just going to keep her on it, I'm right? just keeping her on it, yeah. Honestly, <clears throat> we just, we've lost too many babies from, like we've lost a few from a mare who seemingly had a good regimen, or S whatever, what's the word? Progesterone. progesterone. Yeah. They had great progesterone levels, and then mid-pregnancy, something happened and it dropped and we lost the baby, and it's just not even worth it. I'd rather... Keep them on regimate. You're pregnant. Might be your last one. Don't know. If you're this difficult all the time, it might be your last one. How old is she? 20. Okay, well, she did good. Yeah. And just remember that she doesn't like the Lutalize. Right, yeah, never again. <laughs> you're pregnant. Two on the board. I'm so sorry, baby boy, but I have to get your mama, okay? Ginger is wondering why we're not checking her. Right? She's just waiting. 
So you want to know something funny? There's only three weeks difference between that baby and that baby. Best little recip. If you were 16 hands, you'd be the best recip. Because pretty much we only have one mare she can carry for how little she is. You want to get their cycles to where, I always get it backwards. Is she going to be a day behind Beyonce? Yeah. So you want her a day behind in her cycle, behind the donor mare, which is Beyonce. So we're going to see where she's at, see where Beyonce's at, and that'll tell us what kind of course of action to take. Last year, it worked beautifully. So if we could just do that again, it'd be great. She's got a pretty big follicle on the right. I don't see a no edema, cervix a little bit tighter. Let me look back at my notes and see where that follicle was when we checked her last time. If it was on the left or the right. What does that mean? Like a late Well, she cycle? ovulated one, and then this one's just kind of oh coming away. along. Would you have to wait until after it went away to give her lutealize? Or? Yeah, this is going to complicate trying to synch synchronize them for, for, with Beyonce. She had two fours on the right on the 13th, so one of them ovulated, one of them's hanging around. And that was whatever, how many days ago? Five days ago? So that'll probably end up regressing, but if you give her lutealice and it doesn't, and that one ovulates and she doesn't have anything, then we're not timed up. So let's see what she's got. Let's see what Beyonce's well, got. Doesn't that also give us a little bit of a better hand that she needs to be behind Beyonce? Cause then that gives that a little more time to like chill out um, or does that not work that way? I mean, that's just a day. Okay. So that's not in the grand scheme of things. It's not a lot, a lot of right. time. You're such a sweet girl, Gracie. <clears throat> Your baby's hollering for you. His legs straightened out really well. You're stupidly cute with your little hay hanging out of your mouth. You're so stinking funny. I know you see babies like constantly, but like I don't get tired of it. Like I just giggle at them. Bring it back, Beyonce. Back it up, back it up. Come on, mama. If I could have a mare as easy as Beyonce and be sound, game changer. He's, he went from being laying in my lap and like the sweetest baby for like four days. And then mean, not mean, just violent. Oh. That's the left. You got a T90 follicle on the left. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got on the right. Does she have a bunch of... It's more manure. The story of my life right now. More manure. <laughs> more manure. Both these ovaries just have really tiny follicles. Okay. So we got one big one on Gracie. So not great. So if we give her a shot of lutealize, one of these two small follicles is going to grow and become dominant. She'll be ready to breed in probably six to seven days. Okay. If we give Gracie a shot of lutealize, I have no idea what she's going to do. Right. She's so either going to... Because they're tiny, would you rather wait? Um, so, I mean, we can wait and check her next week, or we could just go for it and see what happens. But I don't want to lose out on a whole cycle. Right because we're so late. Right. I'd do that if it was February. I mean, we could just keep watching them and see. Because, I mean, I'd rather see if she'll go ahead and get rid of that other follicle. Okay. Then let's wait. I mean, is that stupid? So, no, as soon as she does, get, gets rid of it, or, or it looks, like right now it still kind of looks healthy. My whole thing is you're going to be coming out here regardless because we're doing early and we're, like, indie, and so it's like if we keep an eye on them while we're doing those two, and find an optimal time. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That sounds good. Okay. So plan. We'll check Indy tomorrow. Flush Earlene tomorrow. Just, check. Just keep track of the plan, please. Uh -huh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep this, like, wrap up straight because we just had a lot of information enter my head. Um, and I, I haven't slept in, like, a long time. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so we checked cool for her pregnancy and she's pregnant. She's 14 days pregnant. So we will do a heartbeat check for her and Ginger here in about three weeks. Um, and then we bred Trudy, everything looked great. So cross your fingers, we will be checking her in two weeks to see that she took. 
Um, and then we also checked Beyonce and Gracie because we are going to try to do an embryo transfer with them again. So Beyonce being the donor mare, Gracie being the surrogate who carries the baby, and we are leaving Beyonce open this year. And then, so from, I, I kind of explained it a little bit earlier, where Erlene um, didn't ovulate on her last breeding, and that just can kind of screw you up if you don't get all of that out, like the fluid out, and if you have fluid retention in your uterus, it can cause infection, and that's what happened. Even though we preemptively did a like cleansing lavage, so we're doing three days in a row of antibiotic treatment in her uterus. We did one tonight, and we're going to do it for the next two days. And hopefully she doesn't progress too fast, and we can still breed her on this cycle, which would probably be like Monday. And then um, I guess I kind of jumped around with Beyonce and Gracie. We're going to try to time it. We're just not making any action right now. So the whole thing is we want to time them up where Gracie is a day behind Beyonce in her cycle. And Gracie is a little too far behind Beyonce right now. So if we can just let Beyonce be for a minute and not rush her, hopefully Gracie can get rid of that follicle that she's retaining and catch up or at least just get completely out and we can um, like fudge that a little bit by giving them Ludolice in like strategic timing. So not a horrible checkup. We have two mares pregnant now and hopefully three after tonight. So let me know if y'all have any questions and be sure to check out my merch store because I did have another merch launch today and a whole lot of new stuff. So now all three babies have merch, my donkeys, my goats. Um, I mean, it's just like baby animal heaven over there. So go check that out at www.katievanslyke.net slash shop. And if you're a hunter, which it's okay if you're not, but if you would like to see that part of my life, I just had my first ever hunting, like full filming of a hunt done where I got my first turkey of the year. And I'm so excited in the six years that I've done social media with like the whole hunting industry thing, I've never had a full hunt filmed and like put it out there. So that's a first. And if you're interested in all that, go check that out. And I'm just glad that y'all like these videos and keep watching them. So let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next one.